This video will teach you about the types of numbers you'll see in math. Most of the numbers that you can think of are real numbers. They're represented by the symbol of capital R, and they're split up into two divisions, either a rational number or an irrational number. Rational numbers are what you see on the left-hand side of this diagram involving natural, whole, and integer numbers. Okay, examples are 0, 1, 2, 3 quarters, 200, 22 thousandths, etc. Irrational numbers are kind of their own identity. They are on the right-hand side of this diagram, and two examples of those would be the number pi or the square root of 3. Rational numbers, we can say that a rational number is a number that can be written as a simple fraction being m over n, where n, or the denominator, does not equal 0, and m and n are integers. There are a couple different types of rational numbers, like the diagram we saw before, natural numbers, or counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Integer numbers, which are positives and negatives, including 0 as well, and rational numbers like the examples 15 over 3, the square root of 27, or 1 sixth. And for irrational numbers, an irrational number is a real number that cannot be written as a simple fraction, like m over n again, where n cannot equal 0 and m and n are integers. Irrational numbers are numbers that have decimals that never end or repeat, so there's never going to be an end to your number and there will be no repetition. Some examples of irrational numbers are the number pi. It goes 3.14159265358897 and so on, never ending and never repeating. The square root of 2 is an example as well, 1.4142 and so on, never ending, never repeating. And the cubed root of 9. 2.080083 and so on, never ending, never repeating. Now I could ask you to sort the numbers into the squares where you tell me if a certain number is a rational number or an irrational number. So if we look at the first number, 8 tenths, that is a rational number because it's a decimal that ends. The second number, 2.37252 continuing on, we know that there's not an end to it because of the dot 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 and no repetition, so we're going to say it's an irrational number. Negative 15 is an integer, so it's a rational number. If we look at the square root of 64, I'm going to go ahead and we can actually simplify that number to say the square root of 64 equals 8. Therefore, it will be a rational number. The number pi, okay, we've already gone over this before. We know it's an irrational number because there is not going to be any end to the decimal and there's going to be no repetition. We know it's 3.14159, so on. So it's an irrational number. And the last number I've asked you to look at is the negative square root of 100. I can simplify that to be negative 10, therefore it's an integer, so it is a rational number. So there you go. I hope this video helped. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see, and please subscribe to the How To Scholar.